Well, good morning, everyone. This is Mike DeVille coming to you from beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. Heather and I are in the West USA studios, and this is another Creating Real Estate Wealth live webinar. Now, this is dedicated to you. This is really for you to try and get some financial topics so that you can become financially free, change your life, change your client's life, and just go enjoy and do all those things that you want to do. So we've been following a lot of topics, and we've had a lot of success stories. So I have maybe a little housekeeping today to take care of. Now, over the weekend, I got a call. And you know we have what they call a conversion strategy. We teach this conversion strategy. And I had Mr. C told me that he purchased a brand new home in October. It's being completed now in April, it's six months. He put $7,500 down to hold the property. And you all know what's happened in the last six or seven months. He paid less than $300,000 for that property, and now it's worth thirty-five, forty, dollars maybe $45,000 more than what he contracted for with only $7,500 down. So his seed money, he was able to hold an option, and that property has gone up maybe six or seven times what he put down. And of course, he was able to convert his home into a rental, and he's moving into this one. And he's just earning, earning, earning. His wealth is growing. His income is growing. He converted his rental, his own personal uh, residence, into a rental, and he's getting $450 a month cash flow after using our charts, our forms, putting in all the costs. And he's still getting $450 to supplement the purchase of his new home. What a great, great investment that's been. So he's made $40,000, $60,000. I give you the kudos. Thank you. Good job. <coughs> well done. One other housekeeping item. I've been talking about why you would put a um, property manager. I know a lot of do-it-yourselfers that like to manage the property themselves. Let me just reiterate this again. If you hire a property manager, it's going to cost you a few dollars. It's going to cost you maybe $80 to $120 to get that done. Uncle Sam is going to pay a vast portion of that because it's a fully deductible item. So your net cost is $40, $50, $60. Bucks, and your property manager is going to keep you into this number one concern compliance. They're going to know all the new rules. They're going to know how to handle everything and keep you in compliance for a net cost of $40 to $60 a month. So maybe it costs you 600 bucks a year to be in compliance. It's money well spent. Go out and make more money. This just keeps you in a uh, uh, perfect compliance and it's just it just removes you from the entire system you put someone else another layer of protection for yourself if you ever want to talk about either one of these two strategies you're welcome to, to reach me now today we're going to talk about um we're going to talk about um wealth but today next week we're going to talk I, i'm ahead of myself on these on these uh Slide. So next week, we're going to talk about 1031 exchange versus a traditional sale. Now, for us as investors, this is one of the most important uh, um, that we're going, to, we're going to talk about. It's going to be one of our most important webinars we do. It's going to be next week when we do talk about exchanges versus traditional sales. This You can't miss this because as an investor, we want to defer all the costs we possibly can. But today, we're going to talk about creating wealth and the fact that we're going to we have investors, we have children. How is this money going to uh, to last us? Generational wealth. We're going to talk about the fact that uh, family is forever, but your money is not. Now, one of the things we're going to talk about is, will your money run out? Here's an idea for you, getting a vacation home. What is a family office 
and how does an in investor achieve generational wealth? Let me, let me just go through this with you. One of the concerns we have is an investor is concerned about his cash flow running out. In all my years of doing business, and this is like 40 years, I've never had an investor on the strategy ever run out of money. If anything, as an investor is following the strategy, it's that we're earning so much, it, we earn more than we ever thought we were going to because the strategy keeps going. Now, I know when you retire and you start living on your own uh, investments, there's always a little scary thing because most people are spending their, uh, their job. They're spending their uh, salary. They're spending what their earnings they get from working. Once you retire, you have to live on your investments. Let me tell you, if you follow the strategy, you are never, ever going to run out of your nest egg because it's just going to keep getting better and better. You're welcome to come in and, and see us on this. But we're talking about a long-term strategy for a lot of these properties. Even if you're my age, it's a long-term uh, strategy. If you're thinking of retiring at 65 years old, odds of you living to be 85 or 95 are really really high. So you can really season a portfolio. Now just think putting a, a small mortgage on a property, letting your tenants pay that property off over 20, 25, or 30 years. Not only are you going to have someone else paying off the debt, in other words, if we put $100,000 down, your tenant pays the other 100 grand off, that is pure equity for you, your wealth grows without any appreciation and you're getting an extra 100 grand and someone else paid that off for you. We're also looking at once those uh, mortgages get paid off is cash flow. So after 20 or 25 or 30 years, which most of us have, even if you're 65 years old, you just don't realize how long you're going to live. You have plenty of time with which to do these strategies. Your income and your wealth is going to grow. So you're going to follow the portfolio. Just follow that strategy. And it's going to ensure the fact that your cash flow is never going to grow. You're never going to grow out of it. We're never going to run out. When I sit with my investors that have been on a strategy for 5, 10, 15 years, they are absolutely amazed at how much their wealth has grown. I mean, truly, their wealth has really grown and the cash flow grows with it. You are eventually going to get to the point as we're investing that you no longer need to work. Now, you can enjoy work, but you no longer need to because your investments are going to pay all of your expenses, all your play money, and still leave surplus over for you to invest in other properties. Just think if you're 25 or 30 years old and you're on the strategy for 25 or 30 or 35 years, your income is going to be enormous and you are going to get to the point where you have enough and your life becomes your own. That is our goal. You know, I, I hear this all the time. We talk, it, this is not the Bengen rule where your nest egg is constantly depleting. This is a strategy where your nest egg is constantly increasing and growing. It's just a wonderful program. We're here to help you to do this. We're here for you to build a retirement plan for yourself. It's, we're here to help you build a retirement plan for your clients. For your kids, we're here to help you become financially free. So what about vacation homes? I'm going to tell you, you're going to get to the point where you're generating a lot of income. For me, family is forever. Some of my best friends is my family. People say, well, you, you don't, you're not seeing other people. That's because I'm with my family. These are people I love. They're my family. We do things together. And if you want your family to, to be together, how about buying a vacation home somewhere, taking some of your money and go buy a, a vacation home, go buy one in Hawaii, go buy one in Florida, buy a, a, a cabin in the mountains where everybody can gather and everybody can have fun and they can use the money that you're making. They can use the income, 
Keep in mind that income is there for you to spend. It's there for you to enjoy. As your income grows, you're going to you're just going to be astonished at how much money that's coming in. But you can never, ever, ever use the capital that's on there. So you never want to sell these things. So how how do we do that? How do we maintain the fact that we want to make sure that the wealth that we've generated is maintained through the family? Now, this is, a, this is often a concern. So when you get to be a baby boomer, you've been working all your life, you've been investing all your life, been very, very successful. You've got yourself a sizable nest egg for yourself. And quite honestly, a lot of people I see, they have five, 10, 15, 25, $30 million, much more than that. And they'd like to maintain it because it, it's a little difficult to put together. But once you get that kind of money put together, it's generating huge, enormous returns. Now, I have to tell you, there's only two pathways. Either you teach or you restrict. So let's say you've got $10 million. You've worked your entire life. This $10 million is probably generating you somewhere around three dollars or $400,000, probably, probably close to $450,000, $500,000 a year in income. Now, I, I know a lot of people say, oh, that's just not possible. Believe me, if you're on the strategy, you've done this for a number of years. A lot of my clients have done this for 15, 20, 25 years. They have a lot of income coming in. It's not unusual to have thirty-five dollars or $40,000 a month coming in. And this is usable income. Now, we want to leave this as a legacy. So my suggestion to you, either teach your children how to do this and expand that legacy. They should be taught right from when they're teenagers, they should be given tasks. This is what you need to do business. So if you give them a, a portfolio of 40 properties, maybe you have three or four children, you can say, well, look at your, your uh, task is to build this portfolio of 40 properties to 50 or 60, and I'm going to show you how this is done. So you can have the core portfolio, but if you start working with your children, and start thinking that they need to learn how to do this. They can develop not only the core portfolio, but they can develop their own portfolio. So as a parent, when your kids come out of school and they get their very first job, now I have, you know that I've talked about, uh, uh, I've mentored several, several uh, people, young, young, young people that have come out of school and have gotten them right into investing. And by the time they're 30 years old, their lives are just different than everybody else's. Think of this as doing your children. Now you have a nice portfolio, you live very well. Why not teach your children how to do this? So they have a core portfolio that after you pass on, you're gonna leave as a legacy. We're gonna talk about that. But why aren't you teaching them how to do that when they're 23 or 24 years old? Why aren't you getting them on a strategy so they can start buying properties when they're 24 or 25 years old? Maybe they got two or three rentals already. If they stay on a strategy and buy a house a year, just one house a year, <coughs> pardon me, for 10 years, when they're 35 years old, <coughs> they're, they're done. And that can just continue. If you have 10 properties, if you've taken your 25 year old and taught them the strategy of buying one house a year for 10 years, by the time they're 35 years old, their life is their own. They can continue on that path and keep building it and keep enjoying the income coming from it. But this is a legacy that you need to teach. You need to teach them the strategy. You need to secure the wealth. You need to enhance the wealth <coughs> and you need to teach the kids. You need to start from the very beginning and start partnering with them. You know, when you first come out of school, they don't necessarily have the income or the, the capital put together. Maybe you do a partnership with them and say, look, we're going to go out and buy a rental property together and teach them. Teach them how to do this 
once that success starts going on, success begets begets, uh, begets begets success, and they'll just keep enhancing this, and they'll learn how to operate the residence, they'll learn how to operate the business, and you'll get the second generation going. Because oftentimes, you know, the grandpa makes the money, the son maintains it, and the grandkids spend every dime. That's not what we want to do. We want to develop a legacy so that the family is secure in their wealth for generations. This is very, very possible. Now, I also want to stress the fact that not everybody's a financial um, genius. Some of us want to paint. Some of us want to cook. Some want to teach. And this is where the strengths are. If you have a family le legacy, you can supplement these folks, supplement these people, and let them go enhance their lives, let them follow their dreams, and let them be good people that make the world a better place. They don't all have to be financial wizards. But we do need just to teach this strategy. This is not so uh, complicated that they can't learn to do this. They just need to understand a strategy so the first generation will get them a start. The second generation will build it. The third generation will make it even bigger and better. And the family will stay together because they'll all be looking for a common goal. Now, how do you do this? Well, from the very beginning, you need to stress that it's so difficult to get capital put together that the capital is never, ever to be spent. You can spend the income but you can never, ever spend the capital. And that the income from the portfolio is there for the betterment of the family for future generations. The capital, the money itself, does not belong to any individual, but to the whole family. Now, how do you do that? It's so hard to put this together. You really need to talk to, to legal. So again, you, you need to teach them how to do it, or you restrict them. Now, teaching, of course, is really the preferable uh, pathway. They should all understand how to do this, what the benefits are, it's not that complicated, and how they can enhance not only the portfolio, but they can build their own portfolio outside of the core. If we're going to restrict it, which you may want to do and talk to your financial advisors because this is going to become a, uh, you know, it's probably going to be a legal uh, uh, thing that you really need to think about, but you can do a dynasty trust. And a dynasty, dynasty trust will keep the portfolio together and parcel out the income from it. You can determine how, how this income is going to be parceled out. You can skip generations if you want. You can, uh, make different provisions to it, and you can utilize gift tax, estate tax, generation skipping transfer tax. You can do lots and lots of different um, strategies with which to maintain the income, maintain the capital, maintain all the wealth in the family, allow everyone to use it. And this is where you get into your vacation homes because if you buy vacation homes for the family, they can stay for generations and be used for literally for generations, particularly when you have a core portfolio that's generating income. So if you have a core portfolio that's generating income, maybe you wanna buy a property in Hawaii that people can go and use. Maybe you want a property in the Keys or in the uh, Florida Panhandle. Maybe you want something in Colorado or Utah or certainly here in the mountains of Arizona that's there for the family. It belongs to the family unit and you have a core portfolio that will take care of it, pay the taxes, pay the upkeep, and it's there to be used for generations. Now, again, you're going to be looking two or three generations down. Children that need to assume these assets, they need to assume the responsibility. They need to know how to do this. This is such a simple thing. Teach your clients, teach your children how to do this. If you have any kind of uh, concerns, any kind of questions, we're here for you. I'm here at the corporate office. You can reach me at creatingwealth at westusa.com. You're welcome to call the corporate office at 602-942-4200.
We'll carve out time to sit down with you. We'll brainstorm with you, your spouse, your financial advisor. Come in and we'll do everything we possibly can. Now, next week, again, we're going to be talking about exchanges and traditional sales. As an investor, we are going to get enormous capital gains. This is the greatest surprise my clients have. This is it's so pleasing for me. So we have we have surprised on the upside. My clients are earning more than they thought they were going to. They're retiring with huge amounts of income, and now they're concerned. What do I do with all this money? It's it's a great problem to have. We're going to sit and brainstorm with you. We also want to talk about doing 1031 exchanges versus a traditional exchange, so we can talk uh, about deferring taxes. Now. Heather is going to put together a uh, YouTube for us. If you would, would, would you please like it and maybe pass it along so we can help with our marketing? June 17th, June 17th, here at uh, the corporate office, we're going to do real estate investment for beginners. That's scheduled for June 17th. Could be a probably five or six hour seminar. If you want to get started, if you want to learn the strategy, it's going to be all day. You're going to have access to us. We're going to sit there and be live with you, and we'll help you walk you through it. This is going to be for beginners to get you going. Remember, when you initially get on a strategy, benefits start almost instantly. Your life is going to, once you're on a strategy, and once you're uh, working our program, you are going to start getting benefits immediately. So this is really, really good for you. We also have th three classes coming. You want to make sure that you check the calendar. You can reach us at uh, creatingwealth at westusa.com. If you have any questions at all, um, if, you want, uh, if you want this flyer, you're welcome to uh, email at creatingwealth at westusa.com. Questions, email uh, at uh, creatingwealth.com. You're welcome to reach me at michael at michaellaville.com or call corporate 602-942-4200. Remember, I do offer an hour or so for you to come in and, and see me. Sit down with me. That's free to you. You know, you guys are all smart. We don't need to do more than an hour. Almost everybody gets it. And I want to wish you my very, very best. Bye-bye now.